a gift from the tennis gods, Roger Federer goes through to the Wimbledon final after beating arch-rival Rafael Nadal by three sets to one in epic semi-final clash of tennis titans. Roger Federer has reached the Wimbledon final after beating rival Rafael Nadal in a thrilling semi-final, the latest chapter of one of the greatest rivalries in sport. Nadal fought off four match points but eventually succumbed to his longtime adversary, with Federer winning 7-6, 1-6, 6-3, 6-4. Federer, who has won 20 grand slams, edged a tight first set, winning a tense tiebreaker before being thrashed by Nadal in the second. But that set proved to be an outlier, as the Swiss star put on a clinic to take the third and fourth sets, despite a stirring fight back from Nadal. The most dramatic action came in the fourth and final set as Nadal desperately fought off match point after match point with a series of incredible shots before being beaten by his rival, who looked to be at the top of his game. The pair thrilled fans at a packed center court in their first clash on grass since the epic final of 2008, which Nadal won in five sets. At 4 hours and 48 minutes, it remains the longest, and some say greatest. Wimbledon final in history and although today's epic struggle wasn't as long, it was another titanic contest between the two greats, even though Nadal is now 33 and Federer is 37. They showed no signs of age in a gripping contest, pushing each other all the way and flying all over the court in an engrossing battle. Fans on social media hailed the match, with one describing it as a gift from the tennis gods while others pointed out how Federer appeared unruffled despite the three-hour epic. A host of famous faces were welcomed into the royal box to watch history happen including Sir David Attenborough, former Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson, Hollywood actors Hugh Grant and Steve Carell and singer Leona Lewis. It comes as tickets were being sold for as much as £13,000 on resale websites this morning as fans battled to get their hands on them. After today's match, Federer and Nadal's storied rivalry has seen them play against each other 40 times since 2004, including 24 finals. Despite losing today, Nadal holds the edge overall, having beaten Federer 24 times and lost on 16 occasions. Of the 24 finals they have played against each other, the Spaniard has won 14 and lost 10. However, Federer does hold the edge at Wimbledon having beaten Nadal three times and lost once after today's match. Despite the historic rivalry, there is genuine respect and affection between the two players, who have the most and second most Grand Slam titles in men's tennis. Federer has 20 while Nadal has 18 and the Swiss star will be hoping to beat Novak Djokovic in the final and win Grand Slam 21. Entry to today's match cost £185 for a standard ticket but those all quickly sold out, though owners of debenture tickets were free to sell them on the open market. Wimbledon debentures cost £50,000 and give the buyer five years of exclusive access, including the seat for every day of each tournament plus entry into private lounges and restaurants. There are only 2,500 debenture seats on center court and 1,000 more on court one and they are the only ticket that is legally transferable. It means buyers can try to maximize their investment by selling them on for a huge profit, with stellar matches such as Federer vs Nadal today providing the incentive for punters to part with huge sums. Claire Estelle Bertrand, of With Wimbledon Debentures Holders website, said efforts were being made to convince owners to keep prices reasonable but that interest was sky high. She told The Times. The surge for semi-final tickets came when we were in the last 16 and it looked more and more likely that Rafa and Roger would play each other. We have a relationship with our debenture holders and liaise with them to try to keep the prices as reasonable as possible, whereas on other sites the seller can be someone who has bought up a load of tickets and can push the prices much higher. She added, we only sell tickets that we actually have. The other places take the money up front. Say you've got a seat in a good position and you might find that you're right up in the gods. We tell the customer the block and location and only then is the transaction confirmed. It is not the first time debenture tickets have appeared on resale sites for exorbitant sums. In 2013, when Andy Murray faced Novak Djokovic in the final, 
a pair of seats were being offered for £71,000. The All England Club's commercial manager Mick Desmond added he expects big crowds for the headline games. I think people will be clamouring to come in here, not just to centre court but just to watch it on the hill and physically be part of it, he said. He added, we are blessed with a golden age. The club added it did not object to debenture tickets being sold on for a profit and added the sale of debentures helps keep down prices for regular tickets. A spokesman for the Met Office said Wimbledon attendees could expect some sunshine in the morning with a few showers later in the day. The showers will continue into the first part of the afternoon with a 20% chance of it causing some disruption, he said. It will clear away to the middle of the afternoon leaving the rest of the day dry and bright. It will be slightly cooler and breezier a day than the last few days with a maximum temperature of 24 C, 75 F. Meanwhile, Hugh Grant was every inch the suave star as he and wife Anna Eberstein led the star-studded arrivals of Day 11 of the Wimbledon Tennis Championships. The Bridget Jones star, 58, was suited and booted as he arrived with his gorgeous partner, 40, who oozed sartorial chic in a white shirt and black miniskirt, as they headed into the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club in southwest London on Friday. Hugh and Anna joined an army of arrivals including Jude Law, Declan Donnelly, David Beckham and Pixie Lott for Day 11. The stars put on an animated display as they watched Djokovic triumph and Federer best great rival Nadal, 